Let's get them back home, right? Say something. Good morning, everyone. 
Uh, I'll keep this brief. I just want to say uh, thank you to all of the uh, parents, family and friends for supporting everyone who is here this weekend. I know that some of you guys have travelled from uh, the other side of the world. In fact, a lot of you have. And we genuinely appreciate your commitment and your support of all of our fellow GCAR students. So first of all, I'd like to thank you all. As we all know, there is a tremendous dedication that goes into karate training and obviously culminating in such an event uh, does take um, a lot of effort, not just um, you know, through fundraising and getting ourselves over to the other side of the world, but also all the training that goes into it. So I'd like to uh, congratulate and uh, recognise all of our competitors who have qualified and made it to this year's uh, 2009 World Cup event. So, guys, congratulations to all of you on the floor. And as Archer said, we know that you will all compete in the true spirit of friendship and sportsmanship um, with good attitudes and humility because that's what your cars are about. I'd also like to thank all of the uh, people of Melbourne and Victoria for uh, putting on such a nice uh, weekend of weather. Some might think that it's a little cold, but I think the locals might tell you it's actually not that bad. So, so um, and also I'd like to thank the centre management, everyone involved with the uh, state hockey centre at uh, Hockey and Nepal Centre. Uh, I'd like to thank all of our officials for your time and your effort and your energy in helping out this weekend. We all know and are truly grateful that without your support and help, we couldn't run this event. So please everyone, let's give a warm welcome. some of the key people that have made this weekend possible. Now I know there's a stack of people and a large team of uh, volunteers that have helped throughout the uh, few last few months, perhaps as far back as three to six months. I'd like to start by uh, thanking our tournament director, uh, Sensei Gavin Salmon, for his effort. Sensei Mike Case, Assistant uh, Tournament Director in uh, And of course, there are some of the key Melbourne senior instructors. Uh, I won't name them all now, but they know who they are, who have been very instrumental in uh, putting this thing together. First time in Melbourne, and as we can so far see, uh, I'm sure you all agree, ladies and gentlemen, that it will be a fantastic weekend of karate and fun. to uh, run through a few practical things before we start. It will uh, run a bit more smoothly for everybody. Can you all hear me? Okay. Yeah. All right. First of all, uh, and I guess this is addressed to the spectators as well, as you may have noticed by now, this event is being run out of 24 rings, two stadiums. For the sake of uh, clarity, this is Stadium 1, and the other room next door will be known as Stadium 2. Uh, if you're not sure how to get from one to the other, are uh, corridors at either end, either side or front here, that will take you straight through to the next room. Now I know that a lot of the competitors were ushered in there at the start of the day, a lot of your bags are still in there, you will have time after we finish here to go and get your things, move up to a stand and we'll call the first events, okay? Um, the event timetables for today are hanging up all around the menu on the walls, if you haven't already seen the, the event timetable, I suggest you go have a look, it will tell you what arena, which stadium your event is on, It'll tell you what ring it's going to be on at the approximate start time. Now, if you, I will be calling out in just a moment all of the first events for today in case you haven't had a chance to check yet, so you'll know if you're up first, and I'll do that uh, at the end of my address here. Pretty much all of the Q grade events are going to be held today. So tomorrow is going to be uh, senior team events, Carter and Kumite, open male and female events, and also I think a, a part of an instructor division as well. But for the most part, all of the Q grade events as well as the junior opens will be held today. So that will be a big day. Um, 
um, starting very shortly. And um, if you're competing tomorrow, uh, start time tomorrow, by the way, marshalling for events in the morning will be at 9 o'clock. Events will start sharp at 9.30 for those people who are competing tomorrow. We will be calling all the events on the microphone. Once you've established which stadium you're going to be competing in, I suggest you make your way into that stadium a little bit of time before your events due to start. Announcements will be made. Uh, if, uh, don't be worried if, as you can imagine, there's about 1,300 competitors here. Have entries have come in from all different countries. We've done our best to funnel them in and hopefully we've got everybody's name where it needs to be. Uh, however, if you arrive at a ring and for some reason your name is not there, don't panic, we'll get that situation sorted out very quickly, okay? Uh, the officials already know what to do there, so uh, don't be concerned. For some reason, your name's not there. We will, uh, if you're at the event that you know you've entered, there's no way you'll miss out, okay? Uh, I would like to also just confirm where the spectator areas are and competitor areas. The stadium one here, the main floor is primarily for officials and competitors only. As you'll see, the stadium is quite it is small enough so that you can be close to the action here from the stands. The only exceptions may be the back three rings. And if you, for parents, if you have uh, children that are competing in any of the back three rings, you are welcome to use the seating at the far end of the stadium uh, to watch your child's event. And we would just ask that once your the event you're watching is over, if you could make your way back to the stands. That's it's not much sitting up there, but it is there for people who are watching those specific events. Otherwise, the floor will be primarily for competitors and officials. In Stadium 2, you'll see there's seating all around the perimeter of the room and also seating down the middle, so there's a good vantage point uh, for everybody uh, in Stadium 2. Those wanting a warm-up area, behind the stand in Stadium 2, there's an area that you can use as a warm-up area. Uh, and I believe the side are open, so if you feel like going outside to warm-up, you're welcome to that as well. Good luck with that. Let me uh, also just point out that we've got a few extra things in this weekend uh, to, I guess, things that you may wish to use. We have an engraver here this weekend for those of you who win medals and may wish to get something engraved on the back. We have got an engraver upstairs uh, if you'd like to do that. We also have professional photographers here this weekend. They're going to be roving around, taking photos of the floor. And what you'll be able to do after events on is go up and see if they've taken a photo of you. There'll be photos on display up there you can use with the computers in the front. And you're able to buy a photo right there and then if you wish. Okay, that's totally up to you. Of course, you can take your own photos. We do just ask though that when someone's performing a card, not to get them too close and flash them. Okay? So if we can take the flashes off, off the cameras that is. And um, uh, so we can start competitors with flash photography. Otherwise, there's photographers upstairs. That's what I was trying to say. In addition to that, there is a, as you may have seen in the way, we've got a merchandise store set up just inside the front door. I know some of you tried to get merchandise this morning. We did have a technical glitch as soon as we opened it. Tilt went down. But that's going to be open all weekend, so there's plenty of chance to go up there and look at some of the things we've got uh, for sale up there. We also have Australian jackets. For those who like to order an Australian jacket, you will be able to do that up at the merchandise store also. For competitors only, that is obviously, uh, for Australian jackets. I think that's. Okay, that's about all I was going to say. Let me just call out what the first events are. You don't have to go to your rings yet, but I'm just calling this out so that you know if you're on first today, just in case you haven't had a time and time to check the event timetables. Rings 1 to 12 are in the main stadium here, in Stadium 1. Okay, so first up in these rings here in the front will be the 8 to 9 years male and female 6 to 4th Q division. So you'll be on here first this morning, that's the 8 to 9 years male and female 6 to 4th Q division. Uh, also in ring 6 this morning we'll have the 10 to 11 years female 3rd Q plus division. It's 10 to 11 years female 3rd Q plus. The Junior Open Female event will be starting first up as well in ring 7. Also in here, the 18 to 34 years female, third Q above division. 18 to 34 years female, third Q above division. And also the veterans male, that's 35 to 44, that's veterans in the league. 35 to 44 years male, third Q and above, you'll also be competing in this uh, stadium here at the back first up. Okay, so that's main stadium to start with. Stadium 2. 
The 12 to 13 years male, 6 to 4 cube. 12 to 13 years male, 6 to 4 cube. 14 to 15 years male, 6 to 4 cube. The 10 to 11 years female, 8 to 7 cube. So you're right, right, you're right. Ten to eleven years male, six to four cube. And that's thirteen out there. That's ten to eleven years male, six to four cube. And the ten to eleven years female, six to four cube. I think that's it. Okay, so if I just call your events out there. Your events will be on first. Those events will be starting in about 15 minutes' time. We're going to get up now, stand up, make your way out of the, the arena. One sec. Grab your bags from Stadium 2, and then we'll be officially calling the events out in a few moments. Okay? Okay, everybody up. For a quick bow out, quick standing bow. Heels together. Ready? Okay, thank you everyone.